The Faulty Mathematics of Medicine. In this video, you're going to learn how the diagnostic process can trick you and your doctor. My name is Laura Lee and I'm a natural health facilitator and learned my nutritional herbalist certification from Dr. Christopher's School of Natural Health, or Natural Healing. I also worked with Dr. Schultz on two separate occasions. This is the second video of a four video um, part series that I'm just going to show you the um, things that I got from Dr. Schultz when I learned from him originally and it really helped um, wake his patients up to what the difference is between natural healing and um, general medicine um, or allopathic it's called. So the first um, one was about the um, natural healing versus medical intervention and hopefully you figured that out but if you didn't and I put it into the description and the second one we're going to be talking about the faulty mathematics of medicine. What is the missing factor in the diagnostic medical equation? Here's the diagnosis. Here's the missing factor. And you'll know the missing factor after this video. And there equals the prognosis. What is the missing factor? Let me go ahead and read this. Thank you, Dr. Schultz, for putting this together. Prediction of the course and the end of a disease and the estimate of your chance for recovery. That's what the prognosis is. The missing factor is that the doctor believes you are the average American. Let's take a look at the average American's lifestyle. They eat a low nutritional, high fat and sugar food program, a, high, a diet high in overprocessed, nutritionally deplete food. They consume 300 soft drinks a year, 170 pounds of white refined sugar, 400 candy bars, 500 donuts, and will eat over 12 entire 3,000 pound cows six whole pigs, 3,000 chickens and other birds, and 3,000 assorted fish and sea creatures, and over 30,000 quarts of milk, and pass this all through their digestive system and bloodstream. They will have an average of two to four bowel movements a week, coming up 70,000 bowel movements short in their lifetime, definitely having diverticulosis and digestive and elimination problems. They will get very little exercise, if any, be 25 pounds or more overweight, have hyperglycemia with an average level of 200, and have high blood pressure. They take over 30,000 aspirin and assorted painkillers in their lifetime, along with over 20,000 over-the-counter and prescription drugs and over 2,000 gallons of alcohol. The average American has a negative self-image and gets reoccurring bouts of depression and anxiety. The average American is physically, emotionally, and spiritually sick. Therefore, the doctor's prognosis of their disease is probably statistically correct. On the contrary, if you live an above average lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle, doctors will know little or nothing about how your body will react and recover from disease or your healing potential. You can expect to have a medical miracles happen when you check out what Dr. Schultz has done in testimonies, he's got um, herbdoc.com um, and um, he's got a lot of people that he's helped. But what he does is he teaches you how to help yourself. So video number three is going to be um, what determines your current health level. So make a comment below. Please like us and um, we'll see you in the next video.